expressed that he's home today. Makwetu was a, a former Robben Island prisoner and as a result of his contribution and p uh, personal sacrifice to the liberation struggle, uh, Makwetu was accorded a special provincial official funeral by President Jacob Zuma. Let's cross to our reporter, Unati Pingosa, who's out in Ofimvaba. Unati, a very good morning to you. Set the scene for us. Thank you very much, Lebu, and a very good morning to all our SABC News viewers. Indeed, we are coming to you live from Ektof um, It is indeed the funeral service of the late, great Clarence Makwetu. Um, I can tell you now that um, um, the, the members of the Pan-Africanist organizations from the PAC all the way to PEM have gathered here. And what has been encouraging since the, rather the, the passing of uh, Clarence Makwetu, we've seen these organizations, um, despite their political differences, they've, came to get, they've come together and um, to pay their tributes to to this great man who has done so much um, for these organ organizations and i can tell you that um, the mortal remains of mr clarence Maguetu have arrived here they got here just um after six o'clock um coming all the way from queenstown and uh, with the arrival of, of those mortal remains, of course, it will mean the start um, of their very, very intimate service, which includes uh, um, very, very close relatives, uh, family members, and of course, very, very close um, comrades of Clarence Maguetu, and that service is currently underway. And of course, it includes um, the viewing um, of the body for one last time by those who will have the privilege of doing that. Um, um, the funeral service itself is expected to start at around um, 9 o'clock, um, which is about um, slightly two and a half um, hours from now and uh, we do expect um, that uh, the funeral service where the speakers will deliver their speeches is going to take um, place at a hall um, on my right here and uh, we do expect that uh, a little later we will see uh, the cottage getting the mortal remains of Mr. Clarence Bakwetu taking a 30 kilometer journey to Hoita where he was born we are at a farm where he resided upon his retirement uh, from active politics we'll see it um, and taking that journey to Oida where he will be laid to rest alongside uh, some of his family members. We, we, we took that journey yesterday. I mean, it took us about two hours to get there. It's a dead road, uh, almost undrivable, and there are a lot of roadworks currently underway there. And you can only imagine with a cottage carrying the mortal remains of someone, how long it will take them. But uh, they've made provisions for that. I mean, they t they've told us that uh, the funeral service itself, they will make sure that um, the speakers do not take long on the podium, and they've shortened the program a, a bit to ensure that uh, they cover time uh, for that journey. Um, and uh, we are about to get underway now. And uh, I can tell you that uh, members of, the, of these organizations uh, have gathered here to ensure that uh, uh, this, this service, I mean, it gets um, the, the, the dignity it deserves. It's not going to be your ordinary suit and tie, jacket and tie kind of funeral. Uh, we're seeing a lot of, um, of, of people um, we're seeing a lot of people wearing their t-shirts, t-shirts of their organizations. Like I told you, we've seen a member people wearing PAC. Um, given his history, I mean, he has led this organization for almost six years. He took over the reins very late in 1990. He was the one who was at the helm when they entered the, Democrat, the first democratic elections in 1994 and he was the leader of the, of the Pan-Africanist movement um, in, in the first parliament in, 1990, in 1994 and we all know what happened to the Pan-Africanist movement upon his expulsion in 1996. 1996 rather, it has imploded a lot um, and there are a lot of differences but they still hold him in very very high esteem um, from PAC of course uh, and those who are from PEM. With that allow us to wrap uh, for now from myself for Nati Pingose and cameraman Sihlem Kize. I'm sure we'll give you updates as um, the, the program progresses. Uh, we've seen some veterans of the movement PAC coming in. We will make sure that we grab one or two of them in our next crossing. All right, thank you so much there to Unati Pinose. For now, though, let's say a very good morning to Isa Matthews.